I just want to take it off the table. You're not worried about these guys escaping. You're talking about the legal process. I, I, I think he's talking about the legal threat, the legal, legal challenge that you have. Guantanamo was chosen for a specific reason. It is isolated. It is hard for outside terrorists. It's, a, out, it's hard, if not impossible, for outside terrorist organizations to get to Guantanamo. It is next to impossible for them to identify the Americans that are working at Guantanamo so they are protected. That all changes. That all fundamentally changes when you take them off of an island, off and away from Gitmo, and plunk them down in the middle of Michigan, in the middle of Kansas, in the middle of Virginia, or in the middle of New York. Well, because at that point in time, what's that? World War II, we had German prisoners over here. What was the... Uh, World War, come on. They, 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 it's night and day. Well, tell me why. Because in World War II, I don't think we expected the, uh, you know, you, you, you didn't have the threat from homegrown terrorism. You didn't have, remember, these folks successfully attacked us on 9-11. 3,000 Americans died. And, and the threat and the, the specter of the threat that we face today from radical jihadists is very, very different than the threat that we faced from... Germany or Japan in World War II. Putting these people in the middle of our communities puts those communities at risk and puts the people that work at those facilities at risk because they can be very, very easily identified. It is a thro total different threat assessment when you are in Gitmo versus when you are in a community in our homeland.